the director of Morbius has recently said that we're going to learn that there is a Spider-Man in the Morbius universe. And uh, his understanding is we are going to get to know who that Spider-Man is soon. <laughs> so speculation has run rampant. Is it, is it Tobey Maguire, which seems what fans really want? Is it, is it, uh, wait, who did I say? I said Tobey Maguire? Mm -hmm. No. Andrew Garfield is the one that fans really want in this uh, universe. Tobey Maguire, they want Spider-Man 4. And then there's Tom Holland, who I, I think after the events of the post credit scene of Venom 2 and um, No Way Home, I don't think it makes sense for it to be Tom Holland, except for the fact that Venom knows who Tom Holland But anyway, I just, it's, my brain hurts. No, you're I don't right. think it, doesn't. it doesn't make sense, but also Venom does know who Tom Holland's. Unless he just knows who Spider Man is. Uh, anyway, the, the point that I'm trying to make is uh, no one knows. Sony, I don't think, has any idea because if the post credit scene leaks are real, uh, anyway, we d I already did a video on that. We've talked about that to death. We don't need to go into that. But Spider Man is clearly in this universe, and you need, Sp I think you need Spider Man. You're doing Craven, Madam Web, uh, Morbius, obviously, and Venom. And you want to create a Sinister Six, you've got to have someone for the Sinister Six to go up against. And Spider-Man is your hero. So for me, Andrew, I've been saying this for two months on this channel now, or a month, whatever it's been. For me, I, I think you, you don't use Tobey Maguire, you don't use Andrew Garfield, and you don't use Tom Holland. And you have, or you use, let me rephrase this, you use Andrew Garfield, but he is not your Spider-Man. Your Spider-Man in this universe is Miles Morales. You give us a Miles Morales film or something, <laughs> appearance, something in one of these movies. I don't know when. And you make that your Spider Man here. Then you completely separate this Spider Man from all the other Spider Man. There's no more confusion. It's also a brand new character, a character that worked very well in Into the Spider Verse, a character that I can tell you from my nephew. Kids definitely love this character. They love his suit. He looks super awesome. You bring Miles Morales in as your Spider-Man. You keep Tom Holland there, and then you can bring the three of them in, and then all of a sudden you can bring the four of them in if you really want. So I think in this universe, uh, it's got to be Miles Morales. <laughs> this movie is such a... <laughs> wow. All right. Um, I just love yeah, a week I... before it comes out, the director spoils it all. He's like, yeah, <laughs> you know, the ending. <laughs> It, it feels like uh, 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 never mind. That that's a whole lot of tangent. Um, I agree with you though. I think Miles is our best bet. If you have to go, like if you absolutely have to go with one of the other three, the only one you can go with is Andrew Garfield, um, yep. because Tom is his own thing. Tom's doing it. That that's his own pocket. And the thing with Toby is, Toby already had a Venom. And it wasn't this Venom. So you can't, like, it, it doesn't make sense. Like, they, that Brock and this Brock are completely different things. So Garfield's the only one where it fits. And Garfield's movies are also, they look the most like these. Like, they are the most kind of shadowy and just kind of bland, right? Like, Toby's is basically 1963 and everything is colorful. And Tom's looks like the MCU. These movies just look like, Shadowy uh, streets and not know, really the... amazing two is a nice looking movie though. It was more colorful than amazing one for sure. Uh, but yeah. they are definitely the most like they have the dullest color palette of any of the, the three franchises. Um, and it like it fits the most with what these two, these Venom and Morbius things are doing. But I agree, go with Miles because A, we just haven't seen him yet in live action, so why not? Uh, B, he's popular. Everybody loves him. And C, it's a great way to distance yourself from the other things uh, to avoid the mess of it all. Because let's be real, Sony has not proven that they are good at connecting those dots the way that Feige is, right? They just... Now, granted, have they had a lot of opportunity to practice? No. But if they can just build their own thing from the ground up with miles or whatever, they can get better at that instead of trying to connect to stuff that already exists and possibly screwing the pooch. Cause it, from the looks of this, I mean, 
a pooch will be screwed, James, this week. So, right? Like we... Yeah. Something's happening in a couple mm. of days. We're going to find out. I, I Yeah, I think you got to get... I, I think you just go Miles Morales or Spider-Gwen. You just... You, you separate yourself yeah, enough. There you go. And, you, and you don't worry about anything else. And you kind of you kind of just let it go. I, I don't know. Th- that's just how I feel. Like, why... I think bringing Vulture into Morbius might turn out to be the biggest mistake they made in that movie. It might not have been in the original cut, which had him in it more. And I don't know, like before they worried about multiverse crap, that might not have been a mistake because maybe Morbius just lived in that universe. And then someone else was like, no, this is its own universe. And now it's apparent. It's also the Venom universe as well. So I just think <laughs> that might end up being the biggest mistake they make. Maybe they should just cut Michael Keaton out of this movie completely. If they really want it, like if, they're really trying to separate it because I think they don't, I don't know if they care or if they understand how the multiverse works. Uh, and they just want to make their movies, which is fine. They want to make their sinister six movie and have all, you know, their catalog of Spider-Man characters do what they do, which is fine. That's their, that's their right. They paid for that. They paid mm-hmm. and they could do it. But I think we're in an era now <clears throat> where the MCU has basically made it, the standard that you either have your shared universe or you do what the Joker and the Batman did and you just make a damn good movie and you say, no, we just want to make a damn good movie because we're passionate about it. And Sony seems trapped somewhere in the middle and not in the good middle, like the underside <laughs> of the middle somewhere. <laughs> and they haven't quite figured out. I hope they, I hope they figure it out eventually. Um, but we're going to we're going to have to see how that plays out. I just think if you get rid of the sticky situations that are the three Spider Men that we have, and you give us someone brand new in the role, but you don't make him Peter Parker Spider Man, you make a Gw- Spider Gwen or Miles Morales, and all of a sudden, I think I just think you're laughing all the way to the bank because also also what that does is it gives you more chances to make Disney Sony Spider Man movies with Tom Holland in the MCU, and you get to do your own Spider Man movies. Which people inevitably were gonna, you know, you're gonna force feed the Sinister Six into them anyway, which you've been trying to do since Spider Man 3. So it just gives you that opportunity again to do it. So, you know, I mean, we're in an era now where more is where more is more, and we want more. We want three Batman in a year, we want three, four Spider Man in a year. We want it all, just give it to us. And they have the means to do it, but I don't know if they have the know how. Yeah, it's the Ian Malcolm of it all where it's like you spend so much time wondering if you could even ask yourself whether or not you should. Uh, and they don't even really seem like they could. So I don't know. And I, I really, I feel like such a big old drag every time we talk about this and I probably come across so negative and so jerky about it. Um, but it is, I mean, this, this is the, I've never seen an example of a studio that had less faith in a motion picture. Like I've never, it is wild. I'm, I'm going to be like thinking about this build up to this release for the rest of my years because of how wild it is and how I like, it is completely unlike anything we've seen in terms of just trying to sell a movie to audiences. It, it like, they could not be doing it more wrong. Every step of the way, I think they're, they can't do it more wrong, and then they top themselves. Uh, so I'm just, I'm I, right now. It's just sheer morbid curiosity, right? No pun oh, intended. I can't. I can't, morbid, <laughs> I can't. I can't wait till Thursday when I go see it, and I, I can't wait to walk out of that theater. And I'm hoping I have a good time. I was trying to look at old Venom reviews because Venom wasn't the most positive received movie. But you know what the difference is between the Venom? Not no. So I got to clarify. There's no official reviews for Morbius yet. I believe the embargo lifts Wednesday, which kind of I think that tells you where it's going to land on that. Yeah. But the, but what we've heard though, early words, if it's all true, which they all seem to line up the same, is Venom. All the negative reviews still said it was fun. And they said it looked like, you know, Tom Hardy was having fun. There's elements of fun in those and glimpses of positivity. Whereas the venom stuff is just like, like there's nothing positive to say about it. So I'm curious. um, I'm I'm curious where I'm going to land on. I'm hoping for a good time. I don't want to spend money on a movie and not like it. That's my thing. Same. Of course. It's fine. Yeah. 
So I'm hoping it's fine. We've we've beat that to death. Anyway, Miles Morales, oh, no. Spider-Gran, let's let's get that going.